Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with my co-host, Micah. Hey. Terrence. What's up? And Tiara. Hey. All right, guys. We're back. This is a preview uh, for episode 272, Love Jones. Uh, This is the 1997 film uh, starring Lorenz Tate, Nia Long, Isaiah Washington, Kuhn, uh, Lisa Nicole, Carson, Bill Bellamy, Leonard Roberts, and many others. Um, the log line for this is Darius Lovehall is a young black poet in Chicago who starts dating Nina Mo- Mosley, uh, a beautiful and talented photographer. Uh, while trying to figure out if they're, they've got a love thing or just kicking it, wow, this is really 90s, uh, <laughs> they hang out with their friend uh, talking about love and sex. Then Nina tests the strength of Darius's feelings and sets a chain of romantic complications into motion. Um, yeah, like this is a classic movie. Like this is a classic black movie. Uh, this is during a time where uh, this is during the black renaissance uh, in Hollywood, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to this. I don't know if the other three of you are, but I certainly am. It'd be nice to get back to this era. Yeah, when uh, wealthy's tax, wealthy people's tax uh, rate was thirty nine point seven percent. Thank you. Saying. Yeah. Well. In the fifties, it was ninety percent. I'm just saying. Wow, in the fifties, and they were still fine. They were still. They were, totally they were fine. still rich. They were I still mean, rich. frankly, I just okay. think you should take oligarchs and just throw them in front of trains. But that's just me. That's just me. Yeah. Um, and the trains that they had built by fucking slaves. Yeah. Well, you know, and the Chinese. Anyway, uh, this is going to be a great episode. Um, <laughs> fair enough. Um, okay, the random topic this week, not so random, is um, our thoughts on the election. And um, the hellscape in which uh, Americans are about to find themselves in. Um, I'll go first, I guess. Remember, you asked for this. Like, this is what you wanted. Not not most of you who watch the show and whose brains are attached to their uh, bodies and work. Um, But the people that live around us or live around you, you people. Um... Yeah, you voted for this. Um, I'm very excited to watch um, people get exactly what they voted for. And I am still equally annoyed by black people who voted for Donald Trump. I think that's ridiculous. But you're going to learn. You're going to learn. I'm uh, pretty disgusted by Latin folks who decided that they were going to help uh, bring upon their own deportation. Um, You're going to learn, too. Uh, you're not white and you're about to figure that shit out. Um, and to white people who did what they always do in protecting their precious hierarchy, um, you're going to pay hard for this one. Not by us, but by your own stupid behavior. Because you're not going to be saved in this because that is not how this works. But best of luck. They put a fucking pedophile as the top cop for the United States. Best of luck, you dumb, dumb idiots. So, next, anybody want to go? And a lot of white folk have demonstrated eloquently that they don't have no sense. (laughs) Perfect. That's it. (laughs) (laughs) It's perfect. That's all I got. Yeah, man, I don't know. <laughs> this, this country showed us who exa- exactly who they are, right? Yep. Like, I had, I had like, you know, for like a week or two, I had hope, you know, that, you know, things would be different. And then Wednesday happened. <laughs> and I woke up in the morning. Well, I already, I was up till three o'clock. And I already knew it. But then I woke up Wednesday morning and was like, oh, well, fuck me for having hope, right? Yep. <laughs> that was it. I was like, "Wow!" Are you just, and then you find out the other people that voted for. Him. I was like, "Wow! All right, well, the the whole thing about like y'all motherfuckers being like murderers and rapists and all that shit from nine years ago didn't, you know, didn't do anything for you guys, or that you're <laughs> like again that the whole, people that whole from an island of trash. That was well, that. Could... See, here's the thing. That joke. I don't even like. I, like again, I'm not. I'm not Puerto Rican, so I wasn't that offended. And I don't think that like that wasn't the worst thing that was said at that fucking convention. And they just kind of grasped onto that because that's what the media does. Like, like island of trash. It's just. A, it was just a terrible joke that fell flat. Right. 
But yeah, like in they the were wrong calling fucking room, yo. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, like you don't bring an York. insult comic. You don't bring an insult comic to a fucking <laughs> political <laughs> event, yo. Like yes. what? It's insane. The fuck? Um. So, but like in that same rally, one dude called Hillary Clinton, who was not running, by the way, uh, the devil, uh, son mm-hmm. of a bitch. Uh, what else did he call her? Like. Like they called Kamala Harris all kind of names too, but again, that whole like island full of trash shit was the one that that got all the fucking headlines. Um, yeah, I don't understand how you could vote for these people. Like they they tell you who they are, and you still think that they're going to help you because of economic anxiety. Uh, we've already discussed that what Trump is going to do is as soon as he gets in the office, because the economy is not as bad as everybody thinks it is or is perceived is he's going to claim victory and that it's already doing better because he just got in the office when it's already fine. Right. That's exactly what he's going to do. Um, he's done it before. Yeah, he did it the first time. He just didn't fuck it up for two years, but like his tax credit, his tax cuts were eventually going to fuck it up. And then, and COVID just kind of sped up the process. You know? mm-hmm. yep. Um, yeah, man, I don't, I don't, I don't, this isn't this wasn't a normal election and people are saying, oh, if you how can you lose a friendship over like who you voted for? This is if it was like a regular fucking Democrat versus Republican, whatever. Like, I still think you're kind of a dumb. But at the same time, like we can still be kind of cool. But like this is different. Like this nigga's an asshole and everybody surrounding him is a piece of shit. And like you just overlook everything he said. And you still voted for him because he's going to protect the country by deporting everyone and drilling oil, drilling for oil that we already have. But you dumb fucks don't know that because you don't know how to use the internet. So, you know, yeah, you're all stupid. You're all dumb. Like, that's it. Like, 99% of this goddamn electorate is stupid. That's all I got. Like, I know he won by, like, 3 million votes, but y'all niggas are still dumb. Yep. What was it? What was it? What was the, uh, was the, um, the search... Can why can I change my vote? Yep. On okay. Google went up seven hundred percent over the last two days. Yeah. What? No, you <laughs> fucking morons! You can't change. Like, are you? I, I, and and not only that, you know, but also what, what is a tariff? And yeah, what's it? And people were researching the three branches of government. That is also it? went up. Yeah. That oh, maybe you should have done that before fucking November fifth. There's a lot of people should have done before November fifth. Yeah. yeah. So cool. That just just shows how d- you know, smartphones make dumb people. That's basically what this is all about. Everybody's playing, watching TikToks and shit like that. Some of it is good. You know, I don't like. I don't really like TikTok because of, like they make you sign up so you can watch the shit. I don't like none of that. Um, social media is the devil, guys. No, it's a disaster. It's hundred because you can say whatever the fuck you want, and people just don't do any research. They just believe what the fuck people say, and it's just. If we're, we've become so stupid that we just believe whatever nonsense people said, and that's what helped the fucking Republicans because they have their wild echo chamber where people just lie all day, every day on television, on fucking internet, and people don't do their due diligence to figure out whether they're lying or not. And that's why we have Trump in his second term. I know I went on a lot, but no, you're right. It's very irritated about all these fucking people because I just don't. I didn't realize how dumb people truly are. And I don't give a fuck what people say with any kind of reasoning. Oh, it was LGBTQ rights. It was trans issues. No, you're just dumb. You're just stupid because you just don't eat. You're just dumb and racist. Yeah, Yeah, that's it. Like it's this is not even that hard to understand. Uh, Tiara, what do you think? Oh, my God. Where do I start? I have like a whole page of notes. (laughs) Uh, first off, sure goddamn, it's like first <laughs> off, fuck these white women. <laughs> like, the end. <laughs> I mean, gosh, uh, Terrence, way, way to steal the thing I was going to say. Right, don't read it. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stop. Um, <laughs> no, I am. I'm fucking furious. I am. I am. I have this deep, bone deep rage that I didn't think could grow anymore after events like Trayvon Martin and George Floyd and the election of, of Donald Trump. And, and I thought I was 
I didn't think I could get any angrier and then last week happened. Um, but it's not even just the fact that he was reelected, right? It's it's the gaslighting that's been happening ever since. I'm that has you. pissed me off to no fucking end because you have people out here who are talking in circles about what Democrats did wrong. What kind of messaging do they need? Kamala Harris should have done this. Kamala Harris should have done that. She was a bad candidate. She had 107 days and she did a fantastic job. I'm not putting any blame at the foot of that woman who y'all first um, pushed out the sitting president who had a primary last year. Y'all y'all could have brought anyone else forward. And I'm seeing people blame Joe Biden for, for, um, for running, for deciding to run for re-election in the first place. Um, but here's the thing. There's only one person who has beat Trump so far, and that is another old white man. And to pretend that this country is not racist and just would not vote for a Black woman is a slap in the face. And I've seen other people on the internet, um, Black people, but especially Black women say, we are fucking tired. And that is exactly how I feel. I think something in me um, broke and died in me about my faith in humanity as, as well as like my faith to have a decent future, at least here in the United States. But let's be real, this election is going to affect the whole world. Yeah. Something that we talked about in, in, um, in previous, um, previous episodes was that your responsibility as a United States citizen is not just for yourself, but for the rest of the globe. This is having the most powerful superhero turn evil for how we're fucking many generations to come, right? And I'm going to get to the uncommitted people in, in a second. But um, white women are the fucking worst. I actually wrote that down. White women are the fucking worst. <laughs> yeah, they said they lied in our fucking faces. Lied, lied in our faces. <laughs> and are all crying um, because of 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 knowing what lepers are about to eat their faces, crying because the Department of Education is about to be eradicated, and a lot of them have kids with special needs. Well, guess what? You got what you voted Good for. Job. Yeah. Good yeah. job. And something else that's so fucking insidious about white women: they knew Donald Trump was responsible for overturning Roe versus Wade, and they voted to enshrine it in their state constitutions, but still voted for a white supremacist. That is telling me that they absolutely knew who was responsible and they knew that their rights were on the line and they said, we want to protect this, but we are down for everything else. Well, guess what? That national abortion ban is coming. Yeah. So whether if you live, and here's the thing, every state is a red state under a dictatorship. And that's what people are about to fucking find out. Yeah. So yes, a lot of, uh, most of us live in some sort of blue state, but that, that's only going to protect us for so long. And people chose this. I will also say this because even though I was very uh, disappointed and angry, the one thing I do feel is clear headed. I, I don't have any doubt that the people who are around us are most likely fucking evil. And that when I'm walking around every day and possibly having a polite conversation with someone at the, at the coffee shop, and I have felt very unfriendly this, this last weekend still, that person probably could have could be smiling in my face and then went to go vote against my rights last week. Yeah. Um, other people of color, because uh, I saw people saying we're not would take the black people out, out of the BIPOC and look, hey, that's how that's where I'm at now. Um, other, this country has done such a disservice on educating people on slavery the Civil War, Reconstruction, and Civil Rights. Um, there is a chance that all of us here are either one or two generations removed from Jim Crow. And there are a lot of Black people who were alive during Jim Crow and are now still alive to see us go back to or potentially potentially go back to the era in which in which they grew up all that to say that you have a lot of people of color who came here 
and saw the American dream and saw like, yes, this is this is an opportunity for me and my family. But that American dream has always been represented by white people, the traditional white family. So you come here and you are coming from a place where everyone looks like you, everyone speaks the same language as you, you have a lot of cultural commonalities, even if you may have some people that are a little bit more liberal than others, all of you share that same culture and you come here and you still find that community. Good for you. And you look at Republicans, you say, you think, oh, Republicans, they're just like me. They're conservative, just like me. They believe in um, uh, freedom of religion, Christianity. Um, they hate abortion. They One. hate gay people. Um, all of that. And I identify with that. But because none of y'all know the history of this country, no one knows America like Black Americans do. Period. And y'all, y'all, y'all see Republicans, you think, oh, that I found the party for me. Not understanding that the thing that America loves is whiteness. So yes, they will take your vote, but they will never take you. They will, they will, they will, well, they're, they're about to take a lot of y'all out, up out of this country. And y'all heard what the what that new dude said. He said, look, I agree with y'all. We should not separate families. So all y'all can <laughs> fuck out. Yep. Leave and up. you know, um, That's a wild statement, yeah. Like Straight face, but Mask. but there's so yeah, many people who trash. they and, and, and when they are aspiring to the American dream when they come here, they know they have to assimilate into um into a certain structure. And one thing that you learn when you come here is that yes, I I, I oh, no, I would never be white. But what I do know is I'm damn sure not black. And y'all try to weaponize that against us, and only the found that guess what, you're in the same boat as us. But oh, black yeah. folks know. You just a different color nigga. They don't give a fuck about you. Like, yeah, they don't care. But here's the thing. They don't. They never have. Black people here, we know. There there has never been a, a moment where we didn't know how how this country um felt about us. It doesn't mean that we're never angry, but we just know. And a lot of y'all are about to find out right now. Mm-hmm. Um and I cannot well, I can believe it because we saw this back in 2016. The people who are saying things like, Trump's not gonna deport me because uh, he's only deporting criminals, or it would be unfair for him to to uh, to deport family oriented people. They can't tell because just like with the Haitian stuff, it's not about if you are Mexican or Guatemalan or Cuban. It's just the fact that you're a brown person. It doesn't matter if you were Haitian or Jamaican or from the or from the Bahamas. It's just a matter that that you're black. And people about to look. All these lepers are going to need to be on like Wegovy or some other weight loss medication because they're about to be in a lot of fucking faces over the next four <laughs> plus years. That's my favorite. Um, like they just they're just embarrassing themselves. It's amazing. And completely embarrassing themselves. Um, and then yeah, let, let's for, let's hear from Micah. And then oh uh, yeah, sorry Micah. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I, want, I want to get back to your laundry list of fuck these people. Um, <laughs> yes, because I think it's fair. But um, Micah, your thoughts on this? Um, I mean, you guys pretty much hit the nail on the head for everything. Um, the night of, I had a bad feeling. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed. Uh, and I was talking with my wife and she was like, I think I'm a cry. And, uh, she was talking about if Kamala won and I said, I think you're going to cry either way. And, and, you know, but she is, she was, I've never seen her so like we pay attention, right? But she was really into it, right? Go figure a a, a black woman who got her JD for her university <laughs> right. is really into Kamala Harris. Go figure. Yeah. Um and she you know, we went to bed and I couldn't sleep, so I woke up at two o'clock and I and I saw on the AP that uh that Trump won. And I couldn't get back to sleep. I was like, fuck, she's going to, because I was worried about her, right? Given our situation. And um, I, I just thought worried about, about someone else. You were worried about someone else, weren't you? You know, every, every single, like I'm, I'm super boring, right? I'm super mm-hmm. boring. Sure. I, I voted in every, you, know, you said that kind of fast, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you got to laugh. You got to laugh. Keep me crying. I, I, um, every single, every single, I voted in every single election that I've been eligible for, except for one. 
and um and i you know i am straight i'm a man uh i don't do drugs uh i grew up middle to up i've grew up middle class and i live upper middle class right like things don't affect me thankfully so every vote that i have had to do it has been for other people in mind right it will affect me indirectly but not directly every single vote i don't smoke weed i voted for weed legalization because that shit affects other people right for no reason right yeah i voted to enshrine uh um a right to choose it doesn't affect me i personally would not want my wife to have an abortion, but like, if it, if, if it needs to happen, it needs to happen. And you know, that affects everyone else. Right. So I say this to say that <clears throat> people have become incredibly selfish with their vote. It's my vote. It's my vote. I and if, and if they don't, if they don't, you got to cater to me specifically. And that's not how a society thrives. Uh, it, you you can't we are not we are not uh, 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 we aren't supposed to be uh, 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 a group of individuals we are supposed to be together right, right? And, and but it's quite literally get, the meaning of the country Even right yeah exactly. right and <laughs> and I, <clears throat> so a lot of people are 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 being very selfish with their vote uh, it, part of me gets it, but I, 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 I comprehend it. I just don't agree. I don't understand it. I don't agree with it. Um, so yeah, it, it, we woke up and, it, you know, my wife is a planner and we've been planning for this outcome, right? We didn't hope for it, but we knew that it could happen. So we've, we've started to, you know, make certain moves to ensure <laughs> that we are okay. But yeah, it's just, I, I can't say that I'm surprised. I, I, you know, I didn't want this outcome to happen, but um, I, I really can't say I was surprised. I was surprised by him winning the popular vote. I was genuinely surprised by that. Yeah. Um, but him winning, you know, it was, it was a coin flip and, and we didn't, uh, and we didn't win. Um, and it's gonna, it's gonna affect us. It's gonna affect us. Cause like, you know, it's gonna affect us. And I hope it doesn't affect us too much. Um, yeah, man, I just, yeah, I, I, I try to have, uh, I try to have sympathy for people. Right. Like, because like that, I, I, I swear that the, the world needs it. Right. The world needs to know how to empathize. But man, my empathy is turning into apathy, yo. And I, I'm starting to not give a fuck about people. <clears throat> and, and that is the, even even through the first Trump term, like I still cared about people, yo, because like they didn't know any better. Right. Like. Oh, what's this, you know, like, well, well, hey, let's roll the dice with this guy, right? Let's just see, right? I get it. But to reelect the worst president ever, it, it's it's very odd to me. You know, well, I, you know, uh, who he is. right, you know who he is. Oh, well, I, and, and, you know, nobody gets anything done in four years uh, in terms of the economy. Yeah. It, it, everything is piggybacking off of something else, right? So, I, you know, I see people like, well, I, I have more money in my pocket uh, when I, when I, when I, when when he was here. Like, did you? No, you didn't. Did you didn't. he do it? You didn't, but you didn't. You know, you didn't. It right. just feels like you did because stuff wasn't as expensive. Right. You, you, you know, you, you were home a lot. You know why? Because he bungled the fucking pandemic. Right. Yeah. Gas wasn't as expensive because no one was driving. Yeah, no one was right. driving. Nobody was going. Those gas there. stations were like, please buy our gas. <laughs> and millions right. of people died under him. Right. And people, yeah, and people That's died. That's why he lost. That's why he lost. 
That's the only reason why he lost the second. And time. because he That's almost it. died himself. Oh, yeah. Whisper of a dream. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I look, I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen now. I see all this, I see the I see this like bizarre like uh, Legion of Doom being assembled. And it is but it's not even like it's not even like it's like some of them are the Legion of Doom and some of them are like from Cobra. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> they're just buffoons and shit. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's a weird, it's a weird, weird mixture. It it um, gives me it gives me a little like I don't have any hope, but if I had an ounce of it, <laughs> it's just from the perspective of surely all of these fucking morons that he is putting in place are just gonna blow each other up, right? Like they won't be able to get anything done just because they are so fucking incompetent. Yeah. And that's it. Like a 0.1% of hope, right? Yeah. The people that he puts in charge of, like, you can tell what shit he really cares about. He doesn't give a fuck about <laughs> being the attorney general. He doesn't care. Right. Because he put a buffoon there, but he really cares about deporting 15 to 20 million people. So he puts up the most brutal person he can think to put there who is definitely competent in getting that done. That's how you know. Um, um, putting two jackasses in charge of like government efficiency, two people who the fuck are- does that even mean? What does just, that even what, mean? It's just zeroing, no, it's just is zeroing out all this other shit. Clearing out all the goddamn- like, just, tell him, uh, just telling him what he needs to, just telling him yes. who he needs to fire? Or what-, what the Getting rid of government are. agencies. Yeah. That just they totally. deem useless. That's it. That's yeah. it. Look, you you like um, the arts? All of that shit. Government funding on the arts zeroed out. All of it. Hey, HBCUs. Environment. Right. The, the environment. It's not like we need the planet to fucking be on, right? HBCUs. They got sixteen billion dollars under uh, Joe Biden. Right. Right. All of that. Yeah, By the way, going. Donald Trump put that to zero before. Do you think he's not going to go back to it? The fuck does he care? Right. Uh, reparations. He, the, he, oh, he didn't mention reparations yesterday. Yeah, for the but for like, but yeah, for, for the white honkies. people. Yeah. I'm starting to call him. I'm bringing I back mean, honky guys. <laughs> I mean, back. not it's not that offensive, and it's very funny. Pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> they said it on TV, guys. They said that on TV. So um, and they don't never say nigger on TV. If you can't say it on 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 basic over the air TV, you can't say. I, it. I feel like Archie Bunker jump- said a nigger too. <laughs> yeah, back in, in the all day. Of the yeah, he don't <laughs> fucking count. He don't fucking count. Fuck him. He, a big, he don't count. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, a whole bunch of Archie Bunkers fucking fucking go ahead you, you know you, you know what's so what, what made me really really sad because I, I cried a lot last week um and I'm so glad I had therapy this morning because my therapist well she validated my therapist is also a black woman so she knew where I was coming from when I said white women are the fucking worst the, um, the, now hold on one quick side one quick side do you meet her in person or is it like online no we just chat over the phone or online over the phone when you yeah. called her, when she picked up, did she just say, girl? <laughs> like she already knew. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she, well, she, she, she calls me. But she, she, I mean, she shares some, her own personal views too. And yeah. thank God. She, I, I didn't feel like I had to ask her who she voted for. But she was like, just let you know I voted for Kamala. Because why would I not? Because like, oh, I'd have hung the like, fuck up with your ass. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, ain't you excited I am? What the fuck? <laughs> Um, it's American but, but the, again, thing, girl. Click. The, the, the thing that makes me really, really sad, because I'm only about 10 years, 10, 11 years younger than, than, than you guys. And there's I'm already like, such like, a, <laughs> <laughs> there, I'm only in my, my early 30s. And since growing up here, I have witnessed 9-11, the rise of school shootings, um, President Obama's second election was my first election that I could vote in. Um, so 2012. My second no, one was Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. My third one was Biden and Trump. Biden. And now my fourth one was Trump and Kamala Harris. And um, I saw an article yesterday going around about, uh, I guess, Gen Xers and boomers um, being upset that they'll never be grandparents or their, or their kids are, are choosing to not have kids. Well, guess why? It's your fault, nigga. Yes, <laughs> but but and, even and, in like and Gen Z, by the way. 
They really. I, I, and I'm still process. I'm still processing a lot of what this election means for me and my future because, at least here in the states, right? Um, because I, I wanted, <laughs> I, I I wanted children here, even in the great state of California, with our psycho ass governor. But there's just so much I'm reevaluating like right dude. now. Gavin Newsom. Yeah, he's yeah, like a scumbag. Like he's like a scumbag like, for, the, for the feels for like the, fucking Patrick Bateman to me. I don't like it. I don't like. I mean, Gavin, like, like when people say <laughs> Gavin is a, is a psycho, he is. He's probably like a sociopath. Hey, he's probably someone that would just tell Trump like, "Go fuck yourself." He, yes. Yeah. Um, no, he, he's yeah, an he asshole. Would. He's an asshole for the for the left, for the left. or for Democrats. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but it's just so exhausting to have your future just in in jeopardy with every single election since you've become an adult. Um, and to and to be told that all the values and all the promises, if you had done all the right things and just to see that be ripped away because people are, like Micah said, are selfish, that's a, that's heavy. I mean, I feel, I feel like that's pretty heavy. Especially if you are someone that's my age and you are giving kids a serious consideration. And like I said, I, I have friends who try to go through IVF or maybe a couple years older than me and they didn't vote for this, but you know, um, and yeah, there's something else that's, that's on the line. That's, that's going to be uh, likely you're going to have to be in a certain state for that shit. Yeah. And um, healthcare that's touches every single person. Mm -hmm. Every person is one accident away or one unfortunate diagnosis away from needing health insurance to survive. Um, and also, and I don't know how you fix this issue. And I know a lot of white people are trying to explain it away that it's not white people's fault, but people are so invested in other people's suffering and cruelty that I don't know how you, where's the middle ground now? Because you have motherfuckers like like Bernie Sanders who are saying the Democrats need, need to talk to the working class voters. Well, black people are working class voters. Mm -hmm. that nigga don't we don't fall for niggas. this. <laughs> like, yeah, which is why Bernie he kept Sanders losing. Never talk that's to black why, people. and that's why he cannot win the Democratic nomination. But we like, don't I know, fall for I know, this. like I know why people are like it's it's a setup by the DNC. No, it's not. No, he does not appeal to black people because we can hear your bullshit coming a mile away. That's why. Yes. Dude, it James is James Clyburn look, is right. Yeah. Like it's look, to your to your point, gaslighting the gaslighting over the last couple of days has been infuriating, right? And it, you know, th this idea of Kamala Harris, if she had stayed in Pennsylvania longer, if she had done that's not why she lost. Right. That's not why she lost. Look, I, I thought she was going to win. I really did. Yep. But that's not why she lost. She lost for the same reason. That Donald Trump won the first time. There is a deep-seated level of programming in American in the American psyche that people either acknowledge, quite honestly, and you're like, "Wow, that person's an asshole," but at least they're being fucking truthful. Which is most Americans, clearly, the majority of Americans, or the voting populace, want a man at the top and a white man, yes. preferably, right? Barack Obama won. Right. And, and I was like, oh, shit, like we're all on the train to fucking like normal town. Great. That's awesome. <laughs> but never fucking forget that he was also a man. And when he got in, you know, people were like, all right, you know, even I think even conservatives, not your fucking hyper racist, but like even I think conservatives were like, all right, well, we didn't want the guy. But like, see, America's not racist. Like, see, it's soft now. Right. Like they there was a sense of like, OK, we can get past this. But then when they saw this dude like. Being the president day in and day out, and it wasn't just a fucking novelty Lost situation. And he's like really in charge, and he's like telling people what to do and all sorts of shit. They didn't like that shit because they're like, this person's supposed to be white. There is a reverence for that position. Yep. Here comes Kamala Harris, you know, after Donald Trump, which is, you know, to Van Jones's excellent statement, he was a white lash, right? It was just like, we can't have a, a non white man at the top. Like, that's crazy. And so, here comes Donald Trump. He runs. Hillary Clinton lost, not because she's white. She lost because she's a woman. 
There is no on. Look, you can say, oh, Hillary Clinton was this hated politician and everything else. Yeah, she was. And they hated her because she dared to be a woman standing next to a fucking her husband as president and having a fucking opinion. That is the end all be all. She's boring. Uh, there's a ton of boring fucking politicians. What the fuck? They get reelected every two years. It's because she's a woman. It was. Yep. Black Dude, they yep. said she killed people. Oh, look, here's how you know how deeply sexism is in this country. You can look at the Hillary Clinton shit. People blame Hillary Clinton for her husband cheating on her. She's the mm-hmm. fucking yeah, that's problem. That's no wild shit. This nigga is like, still doing speeches. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. He's still doing speeches up until a couple of fucking months ago at the fucking DNC. Yep. People He's the president crazy. getting blowjobs in the fucking white uh, in the white house in the oval office but somehow hillary clinton getting on tv and be like well actually i think this is straight they're like shut the fuck up hillary shut up why why it's because there's yep. such deep-seated hatred because she's a woman right Man. A, lot of, a lot of people don't know this about hillary clinton this is a fuck and, and i'm not some huge hillary clinton fan um but when when he ran for governor in arkansas and the first time he bill ran in arkansas he lost right and, you know, there was a whole thing of like, why did he lose? Da, 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 da. This dude's a road scholar. He's super smart, whatever. You know what it came down to? His, his wife, right? Because she didn't go by Hillary Clinton. She went by Hillary Rodden. Hillary. And they were like, they ain't like that shit, right? This is mm-hmm. fucking Alabama, right? Or excuse me, Arkansas. And so they didn't like that shit. She changed her and she changed her entire like the way of dressing. She did the fucking like country bumpkin kind of wife that they made fun of when they got to the White House. Ironically, she didn't dress like that. She's fucking, she went to West. She was like a super feminist. Yes. Yes. She wasn't like a wild feminist when she was younger. Right. She She was arguably smarter. She probably was smarter than fucking Bill Clinton. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know. I I mean, they were both very smart. They're very smart. smart. Yeah. Both of them. yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, he was a fucking Rhodes Scholar, right? He's like, hey, buddy. Like, yeah, but he's like, he ain't no country bumpkin. Like, that nigga was super smart. But she always had to be below him. She had, yeah, she had to be yeah, below yep. him. They were fucking yep. intellectual equals. That was an actual yep. partnership, right? Republican presidents don't do partnerships with their wives. You, you, nope. you want to get mad? Go find me any major speech by a Republican, uh, a Republican president's wife. Tell me any of their thought processes on anything. Mm-mm. I'll wait. You can't follow sit there. Melania, sit there and wait. She does. She Melania's even, like, not even going to live in the White House anymore. Yeah. Right? Like, she's... <laughs> they're not, but they're not partners. And Republicans hated the fact right. that she had she dared to be on the same level as a man. And then here she comes running for president. And so all that yep. deep seated thirty years of hate on her. Then they were like, "Oh shit, against a white man? Fuck no! Who cares how unqualified and dumb as fuck he is? Just put a white man because that's what we want back at the top." And then comes Kamala Harris a number of years later. And she is, like we talked about yesterday offline, she is the literal antithesis of what they want. She is the exact, uh, we want a white male. Uh, You do not meet either one of these check marks. Sorry. And they can't take it. Americans are fucked up in the head when it comes to fucking what leadership looks like. That's why you can hear women say, a woman shouldn't be president. What if she has a period? She's sixty. She's sixty. Years old. <laughs> like she's sixty. Right, you know what to say? Like yeah. that ship but, is you know, sailed, nigga. Like what are you talking um, about? Yeah, she's you, not you, popping you, out you, kids yeah. today. <laughs> you, you know what this is? This is Ridiculous. if you're if you're a black person, you've ever been in management uh, or been someone's supervisor at any point in time, no matter what industry that you're in, and you'll see how white people react when you are given the power to tell them what to do. Yeah, they and hate hate they it. hate it. They will treat uh, another employee who is below you with more respect than that person is a white per- a white man specifically. Mm-hmm. Then they will treat you with respect. And they saw Kamala Harris, and they were like, "Fuck that!" It's it's why other people, other Democrats, won their races. But yeah, her. yeah, like yeah, like how did how did how did North Carolina do what they did? But they were, they were like, "Nope, fuck that nigger bitch. Oh. We're not voting for her." Well, like, that's what they did. Robinson, right? Because yeah. like Mark right. Robinson lo- lost. But if if Mark Robinson I mean, was a white dude, they probably would have been that like was a lunatic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're but, right. but he, you're right. still probably would have been like, mm, I mean, I mean, but you're right. Right. I mean, if he was yeah. white, let's get real. If Mark Robinson was he, white, he may not have won, but it would have been a hell of a lot closer race. Yep. It would have been a lot closer. 
They're yeah. like, ah, did he really mean it? I mean, I saw did interviews he... where they were like, you're going to vote for Mark, Mark Robinson? They're like, yeah, we think so. They were like, did you not hear all of this shit? And they were like, no, we didn't hear it. You didn't? Like, come you're on, man. Liar. Like, you're, you're a lying. fucking liar. And they were like, hey. here's, they, they literally read the shit that he wrote. And the woman was like, well, I didn't read it, so I don't know what the context is. You need to know what the context is of, I'm a black Nazi? <laughs> like, you need the context of that? I, mean, I can't stop jerking off the so trans works. porn, even though I hate trans people. Right? Like, you need context? They don't want to deal with it. And to, and just larger to your point, and, and I'll, I'll kick it back to you guys. Yeah. The news refuses to deal with the real issue. They refuse. Because they have they have to deal with their own internal shit to look and go, oh shit, I think my cousin's a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Your cousin's probably a piece of shit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And like like they're like, oh me 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 ma me ma who who raised me believes is is a cool person and is okay with um uh, scrapping the whole American democracy experiment because black people have been in charge. Like, hey, yes. Yes. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They, they don't care, and 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 white people will take, white people will will, will take progressive policies. They will take uh, free health care and all the stuff like that. But as soon as you tell them that that niggers are getting anything, they're like, nope. Which is why whenever I'd whenever rather, white, whenever white progressives want to bring up Sweden or some other white homogenous society and say we need to be more like them, well, ask yourselves why. What is their demographic? Mm-hmm. Why does why does why why <laughs> Vermont so peaceful guys what 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 what, what does everyone look like over there yeah i mean and the closest you because- can get is like england and canada like that's the closest you're gonna get to any sort of and you know what, they- and what, what's what's happened to, to the to the black brits over there right mm. but you know it's like and, and look i don't know i'll i'll google it now i would bet when the national health service started in england I bet everybody wasn't included in that shit. <laughs> I can guarantee <laughs> hey. they were like, mm. right, I had to have some amendments, right? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna, I rem- I'm gonna remind that because you know, there's gonna be some black folks that voted for Trump that probably stumble upon this fucking video on YouTube. They're not gonna listen to to the podcast. Fuck you, right here. There you go. Uh, you go fuck yourselves. First of all, you can suck <laughs> my dick. Slavery's in the back. coming but first, back, y'all. Like, <laughs> First of all, the reason why we do not have mm-hmm. universal health care, and we've, we've we've explained this a few times, is because when they first brought that, floated the idea, white people were like, yeah, we want, we want fucking universal health care. It should be a right. Oh, wait, if you get universal health care, black folks are going to have to have it too. You know what? Never mind. Nah. That's why we don't have it. That was back in like the 20s. Yep. Sorry. Um, they, said- they, figured, they figured that black folks would end, in, would end up dying out. Yes. Yep. If we didn't give fucking universal health care first for, for everybody, and then we wouldn't have to worry about these niggas anymore. That's a fact. Yep. That's a real fact, folks. That's how much we're hated in this country. So we're used should've, to the bullshit. Should have hung the we're Confederate. Should have hung them. Yeah, well. They were traitors. Treasonous. Um, yeah, they were treasonous. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then when I, I a lot of America's back, problems, a lot of America's problems can be linked right back to not going hard enough after the civil war. But we're we're literally. we're brothers. We're we're we have we <laughs> yeah, share we're brothers common. Blah, 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 blah. No, they're traitors. Yeah, all those fucking um, Confederate states still have seven dollars and twenty five cent fucking federal uh, minimum, wage. minimum wage. Why is that? Why is that? Why is all of the fucking uh, states run by uh, Republicans? Why do y'all niggas not even make a livable wage? Um, why do the How does that work? Uh, all of all of the <laughs> southern like states, like Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, Missouri, Louisiana, states where slavery was most prominent and also the most voter suppressed states, highest um, populations of Black folks. So why they why do they always go red? Why 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 was there a bomb threat called into uh, outside of Atlanta on election day last week by the Russians? Well, why does this stuff always happen to us? Mm-hmm. This is why I said like like black Americans know know what this country is and why some of these other marginalized groups, like the uncommitted folks that threatened to punish Kamala Harris and are now begging Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to do something. Yeah, go fuck That's, yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. look, I I, I I I can empathize with the people over in Palestine, but like I don't live over there. I don't know them niggas, so hey. 
Y'all did this to them. I did my job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I this, I tried to help. Kamala them. Harris feel punished? Does does, does wealthy, attractive <laughs> Kamala Harris feel punished? Yeah, she's gonna be all right, guys. Yeah, you're gonna be totally she's, fine. She'll be fine. She's rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's she, she, her and Doug she can go where the fuck she wants. Yep, she's gonna write a book and she's gonna be good. Her and Doug will be just fine. And when these mass deportations start, you think they could deport every single body? No, but you but you know what you know you know what went up last week? Prison stocks. Because prisons are like, that's okay, we'll we'll hold them for you. Mm-hmm. And when you're a criminal, slavery, basically slavery, is legal. Or forced or first uh labor. Yeah, 13th Amendment. Is legal. Yeah. This is what people voted for. And like Micah said about apathy, the thing that I try to pride myself in is having empathy for for pretty much anybody. Um and I don't I don't have that for these people. Um, and will they learn? Maybe, but I don't care if they learn or not. That's where I'm at. Whether you learn or not does not concern me. But I will see these stories of people having their families broken up, women who voted for this, um, dying when they need a life-saving procedure, um, people who are trying to figure out what happened to the Department of Education and, and wondering why private schools will not accept you because they don't have to. Mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm be like this is this is what you chose, and you chose this because you thought it would hurt other people, no other reason, but especially black people. I I just uh, to me, you're gonna lose your health care, yo. Like you, yes, <laughs> congratulations. So, let me let me let me say this. I remember the the summer I was diagnosed with diabetes, the summer I was diagnosed, it was also the same year I was set to be off insurance and I had to find my own insurance. But also that was the same summer the Republicans were so close to overturning the ACA. Mm -hmm. And I remember how scared I was because insulin can be anywhere between two to to five, six, seven hundred dollars, depending on if you're in a 30 day or 90 day supply. And most people are on multiple insulins. Some other diabetes medications are twelve hundred dollars cash price. That shit's fucking crazy. Do y'all understand what y'all have done to so many people? By the way, people in red states as well, right? Like yes. that's the shit that is crazy. Republicans literally tried to stop Joe Biden from allowing Medicare um like uh basically a ceiling prices on insulin like they didn't want to do that do you know how many people in red states are also suffering from diabetes who are you helping in this or strokes everything is a pre-existing condition depression is a pre-existing condition right what's and the, just what did you, you know? i remember you talked uh-huh. about the what did, was it the stroke belt like down in the yes which is like the most of the red states down in the like yeah. the um the, the southeast right like where a lot of black people live too yeah who, who but there's a lot of person. fucking poor white people live down there too. Yeah, you all well, gonna get. I, I don't. I don't care I, if they if they voted for this. I don't. I don't give a fuck about them. Good no, it, look, if you voted for this, like, look, my my empathy is is, uh, is very specific at this point. Um, universal <laughs> empathy has died with me. Um, if you didn't vote for this and you were you had the wherewithal to pay attention for the tiniest amount of time to realize how terrible of an idea it was to put Donald Trump back in the presidency. I hope you're okay. And if you're not, you do have my empathy. Yeah. If you voted for this shit, oh, I hope it hurt real bad. I hope mm-hmm. it hurts. I hope you screaming and crying in your house by yourself. I can't get my insulin. Good. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I, I can't. I can't be made to give a shit. I truly can't because in the face of an obvious choice between someone trying to uphold democracy and help people and, uh, bro, he jerked off a microphone right before the election. You chose the guy who jerked off a microphone. And who was already president before. Right. Yeah, we, we know we know the story. We know I how mean, the story ends. I mean, it, it's so wild that people were, were literally making the argument, this is how fucking brain dead these people are. Well, she's already vice president. Why has she done anything? One, you don't know how government works. Please just just get a stamp on your forehead that says that so we can just move you to the side. Okay. Two, this dude was president for four years. Not vice president. For four years, he was president. He knew none of this shit. 
that he talks about? Why did he fix everything? Oh, well, COVID um, happened. Because well, nigga, did he do anything to try to slow it down? No. It was a deep state. Yeah. It cool. Was, it was a deep state. That's, I mean, Y'all better hope there's not another fucking pandemic that happens under him. Whatever happened on that well, wall? Oh, he, he <laughs> made like two and a half inches of the shit and just was like, ah. Uh, no what the guy with brain worms going to be in charge of our health, there will there'll be, there'll probably be another pandemic. Yeah, there probably are. Everyone needs clean water, guys. Like vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nigga. The fact that people were trying to get this nigga to be president, can Is you it? imagine him doing right. a State of the Union address? I'd be like, yo, just take it too long to, to, to today, Jim. Like, Come on, yo. I know. I'd be like, yo, click. I can't. Look, look, look. and before you get in the comments and say, well, he, he's got. I don't know, give a fuck what he has. Like, spasmodic, <laughs> whatever. I don't give a shit. That guy's an asshole. Right. If he was a nice guy, then I wouldn't make fun of the way he talks. But since I'm on the I don't give a fuck train, fuck him. That dude eats roadkill and he's going to ban Doritos. How dare yeah. you? Neil? How dare you? <laughs> dare you? Neil? I was. Just, and, you know, look, I know um, Doritos? Uh, I, I get I get immense joy watching the New York Jets lose every week because <laughs> fuck Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. That and uh, who, who was being considered to be RFK's like. VP, VP at one point, running me. Like, right. I, they're not I, serious I, people, yo. They're not country serious. Do we live in, bro? <laughs> like, oh I mean, I just feel, um, I feel like I got, I got to try to, I got to protect myself. Yeah, and yeah, I, and I was talking to my, like, like Micah was talking about how he and his wife are considering different moves and stuff like that. Like, I had a long do a lot of reflecting on what the next chapter looks like for me because I got to find a way to protect myself through this, even if that meant means bouncing and look being Jay's nanny for his for his child. Buy a con deals to uh, to every to everyone else. <laughs> look, look, right now it's seventy eight degrees. It's quite lovely down here. That's um, too hot. Yeah, that's too nigga, you need to yeah, move to Norway. That's a little warm. That's, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah. nigga, it's seventy eight degrees and it's nine o'clock where you at? Nah, yo, like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Way too fucking hot. <laughs> look, 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 look. The, the laugh so you don't cry, sort of thing. My wife and I and our daughter, we went to the store today, right, to buy my daughter some clothes. And like, we go into H and M, right, because they have a like, kid section. And my daughter's picking out a bunch of shit. And she's like fully acclimated into this, like this weather, as far as like wearing like long pants i'm like it's 90 degrees what are you doing but right? she's like i'm cold I'm like, it's niggas 80 in, degrees niggas like, in like oh, shiesties out here in fucking bro. baltimore right like, like, right. On, like it's a thousand degrees outside why are you wearing all black with a hoodie on and a shiesty <laughs> what's your problem <laughs> people are fucking insane what so, is wrong with so my wife is like why don't you go over like she's like why don't you go see if they have anything um in the men's section like because i was in here the other day like you should check it out and i was like all right i walk over i was like yeah the clothes are nice but like all of the clothes, because it's winter time here. Like all of the clothes are too hot. I'm like, they're selling corduroy pants. <laughs> it's ninety fucking degrees every day. No, who the fuck is wearing corduroys out? I'm like, you gonna start a fire? Jesus Christ! Yeah, I was like, no, the clothes are very nice. <laughs> I would only wear them if I traveled back to the U.S. It's insane. Um, no, look, I I think I, I said this on Look Forward. I don't think that. I honestly don't think that Marjorie Taylor Greene was wrong about the idea of a national divorce. I, I don't think so, actually. Like, yeah. these guys don't believe in democracy. They not fundamentally do not believe in democracy, and you're about to see it happen in real time. And that's one of the things that I think a lot of people are unaware of. They don't want to have these three branches of government. They want to consolidate that shit into the CEO of America, and then he's just a fucking dictator. That's what they want. So to me, that's the end of the American experiment because the whole American experiment is based on a democratic system. If you don't want that anymore, then it's time for us to part ways. Just fundamentally. I have my, I have my theory about Trump. When he first ran for government, when he first ran for office and he won, he, he didn't think he was going to win. And when he, went in, when he got into office, I guarantee you he thought he could do whatever he wanted. Because he doesn't know how the government works. He knows how like to cheat the system as far as money goes and stuff like that. He's very good at branding and like, you know, I, I filed for bankruptcy because I fucked up 17 different fucking companies or whatever. But he didn't know that he couldn't do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. And he probably got pissed off. That's why he was doing so many executive orders. 
Because that's the one thing he could do, right? I'm just going to write executive right. order. I'm going to ban Muslims because like, I can just write an executive order to do that. And all these executive orders came out. And so he tried, like when he lost, he's like, okay, if I can get back in there, I'm going to hire people that will let, will let me do whatever the fuck yep. I want. That's why you have to bend the knee if you want to be in my cabinet. You're not going to be able to actually, you're not going to do anything because I'm smarter than everybody. I'm smarter than the generals. I'm smarter than the doctors. I'm smarter than the scientists and all this other shit. But when it comes to some fucked up shit, it's like, I've never heard of that person. I don't know who that is. Never heard of him. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That's all he does. Again, he denies everything that is wrong and he takes credit for everything that everyone else has done. Um, so yeah, you're going to see him actually be able to do whatever the fuck he wants this time. And it's going to hurt you. And on the, on the topic of like healthcare, I have some friends. I have a friend of mine. She's trans and she called me the other day, like, incredibly upset right because he came out with this fucking video talking about um just basically get, getting rid of like trans care right health care yeah they said they, they guys they put it under the guise of oh we're not going to let these children uh have trans surgeries first of all that doesn't ever happen that's not a thing but people are too stupid to look it up and second of all he was like well we're going to stop it for everyone right that was the last thing he said i'm like wait what so grown ass adults, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like that's insane. And those fucking ads, every time I watch the Ravens game, that fucking ad about the trans surgeries in, yeah. in, um, in, in, um, prisons pops up. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, and people really believe this shit. I was at work and someone talked about that shit. I'm like, that's not true. Also. And, and who gives a under shit? him. Like who cares? Like he was like, no, nah, they're using taxpayer money to give these these dudes trans surgeries and shit. Like I'm like, oh, you're a dummy. Okay, got you. So, so I've got. Yeah, have gotta you even paid you. your taxes this year? Have you? Yeah. Have you? Like, oh, I got to talk to you like a nigga because yeah. he's not the, he's not the smart yeah, person. Man. But that also kind of worked. That worked. There are people like it wasn't a huge issue, but it worked because oh, that fucking ad some- was that ad was on every football game that I saw. I'm like. Yo, this is this is insane. This is crazy. But the the man is a rapist. Is that not like a deal breaker for anybody? It's not for them. It is. I mean, the, the the man the man tried to have five innocent young black <coughs> boys to be executed. Does, no, that's is that a, a bonus. Is that a, that's a bonus for them. Yeah. Like I that's mean, a, that he's a, a fucking pro column for them. I mean, pe- people got hit by tariffs last time. He tried to overthrow the government. Is that not a, we all, which we no. all saw? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Was that, these these things aren't deal breakers, and I'm just, I mean, and this is why I don't have any faith in people because I'm like, and even in 2020 when he lost, he got the second highest amount of of popular votes yep. after yep. Joe Biden. I mean, so people, right. I mean, people want this, and this, and this is the whole country that's shifted to the right, the world is shifting to the right. And something I kept seeing, I saw pe- people here in LA post this, white people, um, that your your local elections matter more than than your um, federal choices. And I'm like, no, no, no. They all like, of them are important. That that's all of them are important. Like that's and, the truth. Is they're all important. Yeah, if the federal fucking mandates supersede your fucking uh, your 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 locals, what are you gonna do? Yeah, all right. It's called the supremacy clause. Guys, yeah, 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 for protecting abortion at the state level. Yeah, the the super will be like, yeah, uh, g- good job. Uh, bad. yeah, we won, nigga. Like, yeah, I mean, what I are mean, people I- gonna do? Quite honestly, what are you going to do if there's a national abortion ban? What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? You know, make a run for the border. Gonna do? I, You're gonna I, have a I lot saw... more fucking mixed babies that they don't fucking want. Look, it's gonna I, backfire because well, <laughs> they uh, want white I, babies. I went to um, right. CBS the other night, <laughs> and um, and there were these group of guys who came in, loud, annoying, and just like really, really happy. And honestly, look, I've been looking like side eyeing people for a week now who look too damn happy. I'm like, what you so happy for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> happy, nigga. What the fuck you smiling about, nigga? <laughs> like, that's but, like, my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, but seeing like these, and I know hashtag not all men, but like. Seeing these different men just so boisterous and stuff in a CVS and kind of like drunk, it just, it made my body tense up because I'm thinking like, 
so many things are not deal breakers for men anymore because they've been taught that I can I can violate someone else and be okay. Look. And for a lot of us walking around, especially black women, where we don't receive a hell of a lot of justice anyway, what is to stop someone from trying to violate me? And yeah. then if there's a national abortion ban, I have to carry that that child that I do not want. And also someone who has a chronic illness and also someone where black maternal health is, um, you know, fucking ridiculous too. There's just so many different factors that I, I am actively thinking about and people chose this. Look, they chose it. Yeah, they did. Listen, um, you have friends. Um, God forbid if something like that happened, uh, get your ass on a plane. <laughs> you come down here. Um, I know where I'm going. I'm dead fucking I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah, look, you can get an Airbnb, but like <laughs> in my neighborhood. Um, <laughs> Me and like, we friends, but like, world. Uh, oh, we friends. Well, I'll fuck with you like that right now. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> wow. No, <laughs> that Tony Rock thing was like, That's crazy. Um, no, but but in all seriousness, you're you're absolutely right. And this is this is the like a point that I think people really need to understand. You're coming up against a situation like Terrence is saying, you're going to see him do things that he wants to do, things that he's wanted to do the first time, right? Yep. You if you are a person who is a right mind, you know, right minded thinking person, I don't mean politically right and correctly, um, protect your friends. Look out for them because there are going to be situations that you cannot fathom. Right. There is a very high chance that health and human services just decides mythopristone, the plan B pill, they can just say they can no longer authorize it. And then it's just unavailable. OK, yep. so all of these dudes who are just like, I don't know why I give a shit about that. You should. You should. You definitely should. Um, but when shit like mythopristone gets banned. And dumb niggas don't even know what mythopristone is and they don't think about it. When ideas of birth control start to become a little less available, when women cannot get basic health care and it becomes less available, when fluoride is taken out of the water, as Robert F um, <laughs> Robert Kennedy Jr. says he wants to do, which is one of the dumbest Everybody things. Everybody looking like they're from England. Right. When your teeth start falling out of your <laughs> fucking empty heads um, or when they make vaccine mandates for schools um, – no longer a uh, a thing. Um, when well, measles like and all that other shit start raging across the United States, God forbid there's another you know COVID type pandemic. When all of that starts happening, I want people to realize that the people who voted for this, you did this. So I don't want to hear any horseshit about like, but well, but you voted for this. And to me, there's no level of, mm, I see the error of my ways now. Can I no, come man. join your side? Go fuck yourself. fuck yourself. You can vote with us, but I don't fuck with you like that. Because you did not see what Tiara talked about earlier. Or excuse me, Micah talked about earlier. You do not vote in a fucking vacuum. And right. black people understand that better than anybody. They do. We, we have to. We have to look out for each other. People think that the world is like, uh, the world is just, you know, especially the United States. Oh, it's been on this, you know, good path for so long. Motherfucker, do you understand that all, all people in the United States, women, black people, did not get the full right to vote until 1965? I know people say 1920 is when women got the right to vote. White women got the right to vote. So it wasn't until 1965. My mom is older than that, that, that women fully got the right to vote, that black people fully got the right to vote. Not even 50 years. Not even. So don't talk about years. America as it's like, oh, well, we've been fucking, we've been, we've been on this shit for a thousand years. No, the yeah, fuck you have. You know? No, the Can fuck. Can you guess when I, women got the right to get their own credit cards? This is another. This is another fun fact. It's like in the seventies. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the seventies. It's within like it's within. It's like, nineteen nineteen seventy four. That's yeah. insane. Fifty years ago, women yeah. were finally yeah. able to get their own credit cards. You want to hear in something? their own name? That's I, just the country we live in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I 
I have yep. met my, I have met my great, great grandmother. She just died in 2000. She was born, she <clears> looked <throat> to be a hundred. And I met her. I remember her. And she just died 24 years ago and lived to be a hundred. Which means that her parents or her grandparents were slaves. Not that long ago. And right. people are voted to take us right back there. Are they going to be able to probably sell us in <clears throat> Charleston, South Carolina? Probably, probably not. Not, not. They probably won't be able to do that. But they're, they're going to find. They're trying to find a way to get us back there. And I don't think people understand that the rights that we have been enjoying, we likely will not see again in this country for the rest of our lives. And that's something else we have to make peace with. Yeah, and the I, rights I, that all you other people of color outside of, you know, um, the natives are able to enjoy is because of us. Yes. Yep. 100%. Because of us. Y'all spit in our people. faces. Like, we fight, for, we fight for ourselves, but when we win, you all win. And, like, this is what you do to us. No, but so. you know what? The, you know what? I actually disagree with that. We fight for others, too. Like, that's yep, the yes, wild we shit. We fight for them, too. I mean, we we're, we're, we're thinking about ourselves, but, like, when we win those victories, like, everybody prospers because of them. And it's yep. fucked up that they, they, we, they do that. They piggyback off of us. And then, oh, I don't, like, I'm walking down the street. I look like I could be white. So, like, I'm good. Like, I don't, I can't take this shit off. I walk don't down the street, us. a white woman, a white woman fucking crosses the street because she thinks I'm going to steal her purse. I'm like, bitch, I ain't worried about you. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not worried about you at all. But, like, you know what I look like. Like, some people got to get up close. And, like, you fucking Hispanic folks that voted for Trump. Are you something. Mm, what are you? When they look in your face, they know you some kind of Hispanic. They don't Puerto Rican yeah. if you from Brooklyn. And so, <laughs> you're just automatically Puerto Rican. If you, It doesn't matter if you're Mexican or not. And, yeah. look. They're going to be like, yeah, wait, let me see your papers. Yeah. Are you illegal? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I mean, that's, that's coming. That's coming. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. I, but, I, have, mm-hmm. I have very close friends, very close friends who are close to getting their green cards. And how do how you, how you think they're feeling? Yeah, I know somebody that's been here for 16 years. She doesn't have a green card yet. Uh, She's yeah. been paying taxes her whole fucking life yeah. and doesn't have I, a green card. Three thousand. It's so. like three grand or some shit like that. And Spoke to a lawyer. She just wasn't able to get like. It's a, it's a very long process. Yeah. yeah. Look, I know somebody, uh, Micah and Terrence. You know them too. Oh he, yeah, it, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Right? Um, Y'all did this to us. I hate yeah. all of you, and I will forever. But, and 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 like, and I again, I'm so glad I had therapy today because my when I told my therapist, I was like, "This is anger. I'm just not. I'm not going to move on from this." likely ever but damn sure not right now because i'm definitely seeing people say things like life moves on we gotta look forward to the positive i don't have anything positive to say and i think it's okay to be angry because there are a lot of people who weren't angry angry enough yeah no and you I just fuck y'all forever for me look, and, forever. And, look, I don't give you a you have every right to be angry and somebody oh you need to get over it, it no. you know why because they don't think it's going to affect them but nope. you're going to learn you're going to fucking figure it out because there is a generation of people this is like um, attitude. Good. I forget what the term is. It's like, like there's no sort of living memory, right? People don't understand what it was like before. Most most Americans don't, because one, most Americans don't read. They don't. They don't fucking learn shit, right? The living memory of what it was before is dead. So now people are like, is fascism bad? I don't know, man. <laughs> Holocaust museums hey. are all over the country. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Hey, I'm sure people are going to protest. Uh, like they like they were protesting Kamala Cost or whatever they were calling her. I'm pretty sure after January 20th, not January 18th, like 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 they have their original March schedule for when Joe Biden is still in charge. Oh, you fucking sure cowardly after- pieces of shit. No, get yep. out there on the 21st, dog. No. See I, yeah, see no. I yeah, and don't don't call black yeah. people. We we we're, we're gonna no. be yeah, doing see something. if that opposition don't do don't do some shit to you, and they be like, oh, we're gonna pardon them. They were just trying to protect the fucking the the the, the government. Yeah, they're gonna the beat patriots. You. Yeah, they're gonna beat you like they fucking own your ass. Listen, mm-hmm. to to quickly go back um, to something Terrence was saying. Look, the reason why I said I push back on the idea of like us, 
you know, fighting for other people. Like one of the mm-hmm. things I've been thinking a lot about just because I am so disgusted by Latin folks who have been quite literally insulted from the time Trump came down that fucking golden escalator um, like, voting for really, him. Really? Yo, there was a time that black people and Latin folks were like this. We're like this. And I don't mean the starting of hip hop, but like before that, right? <laughs> um, Cesar Chavez and um, the United Farm Workers, right? That was a big fucking movement. Mm-hmm. You know who was involved? You know who got involved in that shit? Us. The Black Panthers got involved in that shit, right? They got directly involved in that to the point where Chavez and the uh, United Farm Workers literally helped elect Lionel Wilson, the first uh, black mayor of Oakland in 77. We do fight for other people because we have always lived from the, the position of injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. Like that is just a part of our fucking makeup. That party is fucking Wait. over because you have set up a situation that you have shown that you don't give a shit about anybody else. You don't give a shit about women, whatever color they may be, right? Because I'm not going to pretend. Bizarre. Right? Because I'm, I'm not going to pretend yeah. there's not a bunch of white women that are like, yo, what the fuck happened, right? But the problem is you don't get your fucking team together. Because right. there was a clip I saw from Blackish where they were talking to like one of the white women on the show. And I think it was like Wanda Sykes was like, yo, what the fuck is going on with white women? And the white chick is like, we don't have a sisterhood. In reality, no. white women hate each other. They have no yep. sense of fucking community, yo. No sense of it. I don't know how you got the fucking right. I don't know how you got the right to vote. I, yeah, I, that was right. But they don't. But white people really don't either, right? Like as, you know, like in no. general, they have no sense of community. We have had to have a sense of community to fucking survive. And we that's were property. Like, but, <laughs> we but, that, but that goes for every minority group. It does. Except for when it comes to Latin folks, their community is, uh, you know, I'm Mexican, I'm Guatemala. Like it, it's, it's broken up. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not a big, large thing. Right. And it's, and that probably has to do with like, they can trace back where they're, they're from black people. We can't, it's just Africa. <laughs> like, so we just like, we just got to look out for each other. And it's like, Oh, you, you newly from over there. We got to look out for you too. But you, if you don't have a sense of fucking community, you can be picked off individually. And so all these white people are like, well, I'm an individual right now. But they're going to individually take your fucking rights. Yeah. They are. And that's what? Hmm. No fault divorce? Mm, are you sure that's going to exist? You sure it's going to keep existing? Beat you over the head. Yeah. Can't a lot of y'all are married to cops. Aren't like 40% of cops? Man. Beat the brakes off of your ass. And guess yeah. what? I don't want that to happen to anybody. But if you voted for this shit, this is what I you- can't spare a bit of empathy for you. I can't spare a square. I just can't. <laughs> 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 I just can't. I can't. Yeah, I, I'm right, right, th- right there with you. And look, I I watched um, Kamala Harris's concession speech and I cried again um, because I am so proud to uh, have voted for her and. Um, at first, I felt very foolish for having hope, and I don't. No, I think we're allowed to have what we should be able to expect this country to be better than what it is, and expect people to to do the right thing. So I, I don't regret feeling like she could have won because I believed that she was going to win because we did not imagine the enthusiasm that we saw the last few months. That was very, that was real. I think, um, but this country did what it did and. I don't know who comes after her. Um, I know it seems like white liberals and Democrats are learning all the wrong lessons again. And um, no, Bernie Sanders, you would have won. You're an idiot. I'm gonna need no, white he, liberals to shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I bottom line, y'all I niggas get on my motherfucking nerves. Like we don't, we're never going to live in a utopia. You're never gonna get what the fuck you want. So just stop it. Like oh, it's just not gonna happen. Run AOC, that would have worked. No. Flashing lights, it's, it's, not white man. Okay, like I don't know what what you need to hear. It's even worse. They, they, they keep saying like Kamala Harris should have should have spoken in plain language uh, about the economy. Uh, in what world how, is twenty five thousand dollar tax credit to help you buy right. a house? None of this shit makes sense. She ran the best I, campaign ever. Twenty five grand. She ran the six thousand dollars for children. I wanted like, that twenty five thousand like, dollars. I am actually really fucking pissed about that too. I wanted that. Maybe I was so maybe excited. Trouble pass. Maybe trouble pass. Oh, hold, yeah. hold out for hope. Hold hey, out. look, it, 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 
there I mean look he's he's gonna want black people in the house not my skin tone more like oh hell no no way too dark you want Um, me to like uh, (laughs) look look look, as far as I I don't even think mine to be perfectly honest with you you know (laughs) you need to you need to get like Steph Curry like you know what I mean Amber Rose oh she 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 might be an overseer she might be an overseer yeah is they she think black? She's black? No. They she think she says she's black. She's no, black. She's not black. She, she, no. she don't claim no. black. So if you don't claim yeah. black, you ain't black. Hey, look, that's, that's look, pretty, right? all, look, look. <laughs> when all this shit, when all this shit goes uh, to hell in a handbasket, and it will. Yeah, sure, everybody. I don't want to hear nothing from any of these celebrities who are like, yeah, I was on Trump train. Nah, nigga. Your fucking albums ain't selling over here. Get the fuck out of here. No, we're, you're not welcome back in any black spaces. Get the fuck out of here. I saw, was it uh, RG3 was like, well, you know, this is a safe space in America, guys. We can all come together. And every comment was like, shut up, nigga. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off. Dear this cool. is not a yeah. On behalf of Dr. <laughs> Umar Ifatunde Ogunta Day and the International Movement for the Independence oh, and Protection of African People, you have hereby been excommunicated from the African race and we have rebirthed you into the European power. Sh- <laughs> Yo, he is a wild dude, man. He's a wild dude. He drives me crazy. Yo. I don't like these niggas, y'all. I don't like these niggas, y'all. I forget all, all of them these niggas. niggas. Cool um, yeah, look, uh, from from now on, I'm doing every episode like this. Like uh <laughs> like I I've had I've had enough of all of your shenanigans, America. Uh, like that's it. Sepia tone. <laughs> like I'm I'm fully a Mexican. <laughs> like no. <laughs> Never again. Never again. You're like a fucking spaghetti western and shit. <laughs> You're like, that's it. No, that's it. Yeah, like no. Yeah, man, I, this country just, just it just continues to fail us. Oh so fucked up. At at every fucking turn, man. It's just I just <sighs> there's a lot of nice places it's, around the world, guys. And there's black yeah, folks. Yeah. There's a lot of black folks. Look, you know, Panama City. Yeah. I hear it's quite beautiful, actually. Hey, my, my Where friend I live, was saying we can I've seen like, more, more uh, I've seen more black people in the last two weeks than I've seen in a long time, boy. I'm like, I'll see you at the grocery store. He was <laughs> like, let's take a trip Ow. real quick. To see, like, see what this is hitting on real quick. Oh, yeah. Black people just come up to you. They're like, like, uh, do you live here? I'm like, yeah. They're like, how do you like it? Uh, like, I love That's it. Great. How, lo- how long <laughs> you been here? Like year and a half. Okay. It's like the Larry David thing. Like, it's like okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, look, I think you're going to see a lot more people move. I do. I do. And look, this is my last point. And Tiara, I'm going to kick it to you because you, you were about to say something and I cut you off. I apologize. Um, I don't see how this ends where bullets are not involved. I'll just say that. I'm not advocating for anything. I, I'm just I'm just telling you. He made a joke today about I don't know if there should be term limits. All right. Again, did you see Alex Garland's movie? You fucking should. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking should. I don't see how it ends with this like, I'm just gonna walk away. I don't think so. No. I mean, but he made that I, joke I last time. When uh when when the when the Chinese government removed term limits from their president. He joked about it then. Yeah. Well now like, every, I mean Now's real. Da- Donald, Donald Trump may be a joke, but nothing he says is a joke. That nigga doesn't nothing laugh. He's, Yo, no, he doesn't he have doesn't a sense laugh. of humor. So, you know, and, and yeah. this whole denationalization stuff is is so that way they can they can tell you who was a citizen and who was not. And that's coming for all of us. Except unless you're white. Yeah. I, I have two final points. Yep, go for it. And this is a, and this is about the economy. When Donald Trump was running. His his psycho rallies, right? There were people like traveling the country to go to his rallies. Those motherfuckers are not in fucking economic hardship. Like these motherfuckers is on boats and shit cheering him on. Like you don't have a boat if you broke. So these motherfuckers was lying. Hey, they was taking. He was having rallies at twelve o'clock in the afternoon. Shouldn't you be at work, nigga? <laughs> like, right. Like if you're so broke and like you you can't afford eggs and all this other shit, do some work. That's why your ass broke because you're sitting there in his fucking rally. And secondly, I don't remember what the fuck I was about to say. <laughs> I had one more point. Oh, right. And then well, for all you like macho men, these motherfuckers, I think that uh, Trump is like this super macho dude. First of all, I don't know what the fuck y'all are looking at. Second of all, let's not forget, I watched The Apprentice last week, a couple weeks ago. He got his whole swag from a gay Jewish man. Yep. Suck on that for a second. 
Well, quite literally. Also, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I know, I, All the shit you I hate. We don't have a lot of. He uh, got it from a gay Jew. So. Yep. I wow. hate Jewish folks. It, that's a, that's a that's a fact. <laughs> like you you hate gay like Roy folks. Cohn. Roy Cohn was gay, and he got his whole fucking philosophy for that guy. So, yep. there um, you go. And for all the dudes who are saying your body, my choice. Okay. Yeah, don't you don't are- say that shit around me. I might smack the shit out you go for real. Yeah, like, Nick Fuentes I'm, can't come out of his mama's house for that bullshit. Like, yeah, going to jump your little ass. It's going to be a lot of men ribbon. who want who are going to say that to the wrong to the wrong person on the right or the wrong day. Look, I am I am fully I'm full support. If y'all just want to bear mace these niggas to to the fucking can runs out, it's fine by me. Mace to start yeah. as, as to a start. Uh, okay a, as a. Uh, a moosh boosh, if you will, of violence. <laughs> like, I don't give hey. a shit. I just don't care. Mar- Maryland's a concealed carry state. Just saying. Yeah. All the people, all the women that live in here, that live in Maryland, mm-hmm. you can conceal carry. You just can't have m- any more than ten bullets in the chamber. In I mean, in the in the uh, in the magazine, and it's got to be like just the size and something like that. And you got to have it in a holster. That's but fine. You can, wow. you can definitely have a gun. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. don't they make those purses? That like mm-hmm. that's that's like a like yeah. a gun holster. This is specifically for a gun. Yep. Yeah. They, they, they make, exist. Uh, they, just letting y'all they, just they, giving y'all the information. <laughs> they make a lot of uh, women's accessories that all, that also like hide knives or are knives. Yeah, it's dope. Mm-hmm. Or mace. Mm-hmm. You can get one of those like badass and, canes that's got like a sword in it. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. And, and, and don't, don't and worry if, you if you're in uh fine fine ass uh, what's more is gonna uh, protect you, <laughs> protect your right. Yeah, we, we were laughing about the uh, the high fuckability index of uh, Maryland politicians. Uh, Westmore and uh, Angela also right. Also right. Yeah, and plus Maryland is supposed good. to like. I'm glad. Yeah, you. They, like Maryland, like is gonna be kind of like a sanctuary. State. state uh, for, hold on, certain, hold on. For hold certain on. people, the, the middle of Maryland is going to be. A sanctuary. <laughs> well, yeah, like, I, right. I saw I saw a TikTok with a guy. He was like, "Man, you know." I really love living in Maryland. I mean, you know, it's all blue. I'm like, you need to qualify know. that nigga. You need to qualify. That <laughs> you got it. You got it. Baltimore, Howard, Montgomery, Charles counties. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, you out in Wakamaco, you in a you in a world of trouble, right? Yeah, you just like you got the Trump flag. Right? County? Nigga, I go fucking five minutes down the road to Eldersburg and oh. I'm in trouble. Yeah, no, <laughs> wait, yeah. You got it. Y'all 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 not going to Allegheny County or C- or Cecil? Nigga, I don't even know where Allegheny County is. <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. Is no. is is it okay for transplants to call Baltimore yeah. Balti? Because I saw people calling it. Then that is not okay. That's I don't even live there. I don't know what you're talking about. What the fuck? Balti <laughs> what? Look, look, look! I I don't I don't I don't like that at all. As a Mexican, I am not okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck what the fuck? Oh, oh, like they were calling the Balti. Like they, they they said they said Balti is so nice. I was like, excuse me. No, I don't like that. No, it feels like you're trying to gentrify it. I don't. I don't like that. Mm. Who's doing this? A black transplant? Nah, stay over How there. Wait, How old were they? How old? Yeah, were they like a kid? How old were they? They were probably like mid twenties. Yeah, that's why. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, I don't <laughs> stay where you are. Stay where you are. <laughs> nope, you stay there. Nah, you don't get to take Balti. my spot. Get get out of here. Balti. No. The fuck out also, of here. Uh, that doesn't even shout sound out to Angela right. Brooks for kicking Larry Hogan to the fucking curb. <laughs> nah, she kicked that nigga to the dirt. <laughs> she was like, get the fuck out of here. She beat him like 10 so points. Great. points some shit. And uh, he's, two, he's a clown. two black women yes. senators, right? This yes. election cycle. That's the first time mm. that's ever happened. Wow. <laughs> first time that's ever happened. Two. Ooh. At the same time. <laughs> We can't even right. get two. We can't even get two black. We can't even get two black act, male actors of the moment in Hollywood. But we finally got two black black female senators. It's fucking insane. Don't worry, guys. Ber- Bernie will save us. Sure. He got reelected. He's 112 years old. Congratulations. <laughs> in Vermont, which is like 99.999 white people. Yeah, no, he's, he's, good. Got, he's got a race issue. Like we've got it. We've just got to face the facts that America has a woman problem. And we already know, like, the racism in this country is just undefeated. So, yeah. Yeah. Look, the hey, only way you're going to get a woman is. president, the only way you're going to get a woman president anytime soon is to do exactly what Mexico did. <laughs> <laughs> Both parties so have, have to nominate um, 
<laughs> a nominate oh, a woman. So you don't have any options. You're like, well, I ain't gonna vote. <laughs> like, somebody like, ain't voting at all. Fuck that. Like, it'll be the 3, lowest people of in history. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't don't worry. When Republicans decide to run a woman, she will be reprehensible. She will be repre. It'll be fucking oh, yeah. Laura Trump or or uh, what's her name's uh, Donald Trump's daughter was it Ivanka? Oh, yeah, it'd be someone like that. I sell purses and I do Marjorie Taylor Green. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! If she's the first woman president, I will never step foot in the United States ever again. I swear. <laughs> no, I'll do family unification with my parents. You come down here, like don't don't. No, I'm not going back. I can't risk Well, um, I hope people get your medications, make your doctor's appointments, do everything you need to do before January 20th. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. Better get uh, healthy, can, niggas. <laughs> uh, let me just read a headline uh, for you just to show you how fucking dumb the electorate is. People are begging Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to appoint Pitbull to the U.S. Senate after Senator Marco Rubio named Secretary of State. What are you Mr. saying? Mr. Worldwide. Right Mr. Worldwide. The guy who just does this. Like that's that's all he does. He wears the glasses. Yeah. They that's wanted a to joke, nominate. Right? They can't they even get a flow rider. They can't. That's how that's how much <laughs> racism really does. Racist. Racist. It's in the <laughs> name. Puerto Rico. Like it, Damn. No. Also, T Pain uh, is from Florida. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty treasure. sure uh Pitbull is all, he's I mean, old Pitbull, enough, right? Pitbull is really popular, yeah. right? He makes terrible music. Is he? Opinion. No, I think he's really Pitbull? super. Pitbull, yeah. Pitbull, Pitbull, yeah. yeah Pitbull is Everywhere. Very... He's Mr. Worldwide. I mean. I don't know that nigga like that. <laughs> like, well, like well, you're old and black. Yeah, well. So, yeah. Vin Diesel's but... stand-in, nigga. Like, that's all I know. That's he. Pitbull. I can't name a Pitbull. No, I can. He, he did, did that he terrible did that, uh, Yeah, he did that Aquaman song. <laughs> it was the worst fucking song I've ever heard. Yeah, I was like, I don't what is this song really? that is. Yeah, and it was like, like Africa or something like by that. By Toto. Right? Yeah, yeah. He he covered the <laughs> yeah. Toto. It was oh, awful. what the fuck? Ew. Yeah. <laughs> disgusting. Okay. It was just disgusting. Um, all right. That wow. is it for us. We will be back next week with episode 272, uh, Love Jones. Uh, check that out. You can rent it anywhere. Um, or do something light, something fun. Um, back in a time where America didn't suck so bad. All right. Later, guys. See you. Later. Bye. Bye. You're watching the Black on Black Cinema YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our full reviews of black movies, past and present. And every other week we do a preview episode where we talk about a random topic that affects the black community.